Welcome back to another fun-filled, fantastic day of Project Lead the Way. We are discussing our horizontal motion problems and seeing if we got the challenge problem correct. All right, according to my challenge problem, a ball rolls off the table at 2.2 meters per second, and the table is given to us, the table is 1.2 meters high. I want to know where does it land. I've broken up my whiteboard into two different sections. I want to be focusing on how this is changing horizontally and how this is changing vertically. Uh, my two equations are given. I know that my change horizontally is equal to uh, my velocity times time. And I know that my change vertically uh, is equal to one half acceleration to gravity times time squared. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in what I know. I'm given two things. I'm given that I'm rolling off the table at 2.2 meters per second. And I'm given that my table is 1.2 meters high, okay? If my table, uh, or rather if my uh, velocity is 2.2 uh, meters per second, that is going to be plugged into my horizontal equation. So my change horizontally, my V sub X is equal to 2.2 meters per second. And I cannot solve for time. Time has now been given to me which means I can do nothing more with this equation. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other side. I'm given, however, that my table is 1.2 meters high. This means that my change vertically is negative 1.2 meters because uh, the ball that is rolling off the table, that is falling down to the earth. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in what I know. I have negative 1.2 meters equals 1 half. I know my acceleration to gravity will always be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And I do not know what time is. That is what I am solving for. I'm gonna go ahead and get my calculator. I know that one half times negative 9.8 is negative 4.9. That is now being multiplied by t squared. And I still have my negative 1.2 meters okay if i'm trying to solve for t if i'm trying to solve for time i need to isolate my variable okay within my equation i know that i have to balance this everything that i do to the right side i have to do to the left so if i want to get t all by itself i'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by negative 4.9 i can then take my negative 1.2 and divide by negative 4.9 and I get 0 0.244 okay this is still equivalent to t squared I have to solve for t I don't want t squared I want t so then I'm going to go ahead I'm going to move over here just so we have a little bit more room okay and my 0 0.244 we are equal to t squared. I need to take my square root of both sides. I'm going to square root t squared, square root my decimal. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my decimal. 0 0.244 equals, so t equals 0 0.49, 0 0.49. That tells me that if a ball rolls off the table at 2.2 meters per second and the table is 1.2 meters high, it will hit the ground in less than a second. It's actually gonna hit the ground in about a half a second. Okay, so 0 0.49 seconds. Okay, what's really, really nice about the fact that I just solved for seconds is I can come back to my original equation. Okay, I still wanna know where do I land on the ground. I can plug in the seconds I've now solved for. So I take my 2.2 uh, meters, my 2.2 meters per second, and I'm going to multiply that by my 0 0.49 seconds that I just solved for. So 2.2 times 0 0.49, that is 1.078. I know that is meters. Ms. Vogel, what does that mean? If a ball rolls off the table at 2.2 meters per second and the table is 1.2 meters high, not only is it going to hit the ground in less than a second, I know it's going to land exactly uh, 1.078 meters from the edge of that table. So um, answers for the challenge question number one, you should have gotten 0 0.49 seconds. 
and 1.078 meters.